Hello and welcome back. In this session, we'll be learning about joins within MySQL. We'll actually create a new database and some new tables and uh, learn about joins. So let's start. So we are here in the command line client. Let us log in. So data bases. So we have a couple of database. I have created a new database as practice joins. Let us use practice joins show tables. So we have four tables actors, characters, directors, and movies. So I'll not invest time in uh, putting all the data into these and uh, just show you what I'll do. I'll just pause the video. I'll put the data in these three tables like actor, director, and movies. And character table, we will do something different and we'll learn more about joints. So I'll just pause the video and come back again. So there we are. We have movies table and we have actors table. I have 14 entry in uh, movies table and uh, 23 entries in actors table now let me just select again movies so you will see that we have movie id title year and rating now i want to have a director column in movies table and uh, will enter those director values as a foreign key referring to the actors table or rather let us do one thing that will create actor column into this movies table and will refer those entries as foreign keys for this actor table so you know how to add a column add a new column in a table we alter table movies We add column as um, actor. We want it to be integer type and null. Now, why we want to be integer type? Because you will see that we have all the information here. So, if I say actor ID 10, then we directly know that we are talking about the Steven Spielberg. If I say actor ID 20, then we know that we are talking about the Lenny Kravitz okay so we'll just give this thing and there you go so let us see how our movies table look like and there we have actors okay so we'll update one by one all the entries now let us take the first entry as Zoolander so whom do we want to set as actors in Zoolander? Let us have a look on the actor ID and uh, let us say that we want to add the ninth entry as Ben Stiller as actors. So you know how to update it. We say update movies set say actor. is equal to one where movie id is equal to now we know that ben Stiller is not only related to zoolander but he's related to zoolander 2 and uh, is related to zoolander and then tropic thunder also so we'll relate ben Stiller to all the four entries here and how do we do that so we'll use in operator then we'll just give one two seven and eight i'll just put a comma here now one and eight are duplicate entries 
so for now we can just ignore it I close it and let's see what it gives us so it says query ok let us run the now you'll see that we have already filled actors into these entries okay I'll pause the video I'll quickly fill all these things and come back again all right so here we are and we have all the actors entry into the movies table all right so here actors the actor id is the foreign key that we have sourced from actors table okay so this actor id is the foreign key for this table but this is the primary key for this table so this is source from this table okay so that is the first learning for the joints okay so we are at a point where we will look more into the joints so i'll just show you show columns that are in character show columns in characters table okay so we have four columns character id that is integer this is primary key null and uh, auto increment we have movie id again integer then we have actor id and then character name now why i am dictating all this columns because you will see that movie id and actor id we will be sourcing from these two tables okay so movie id and actor id will be the foreign key in this table of characters all right so let us start building this character table so let us start insert into characters values or rather insert into characters then we have to first give the the table the column name movie id then actor id then character name so we'll give values let's say we want movie id 1 then we want 9 Ben Stiller and then we want Derek Zoolander okay let us insert first and check all right so select star from characters we have okay now I have a text document here and I'll just simply copy this thing and paste into my command line client and uh, just to save time you can either pause the video copy all this thing write all these things and then proceed so there we are we have 34 entries in characters table character ID movie ID actor ID and character name all right so 
if you will see that movie id and actor id as we have discussed earlier also are the foreign keys for this particular table but they individually are the primary key within movie i movies table and actors table okay so at present we are good and uh, we are prepared for the coming sessions as well where we'll learn about much deeper concepts of joints see you in the next session thank you